What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here, and we are bringing you some Awakening DLC gameplay. Uh, in my last video, I said that I had some Awakening DLC gameplay on Combine, and a lot of people got butt hurt because they thought it was the actual Awakening DLC gameplay of a map, but I was just messing around, guys. But here we actually have some Awakening DLC, and I was contemplating whether I should upload it or not. Uh, not because, oh, I don't like it, or because... Uh, what, you know, whatever the case may be, I just didn't want to be that person to be the SEO spammer, I guess you could say, to, to get the gameplay out there, because I already know that people have uploaded, so, you know, I'm not uploading it for the gameplay uh, specifically, but I'm uploading it for my general thoughts on the game, so if you want honest thoughts of the Awakening DLC maps, uh, then you're, in, you know, you're in the right spot, I guess, so... Let's get into it. So, before I even start, I would like to say that I've only played on each map once, with the exception of high, or, uh, Skyjacked, I mean. That map I played twice just because people vote for that a lot. I've played on that one twice, and I'm going to get into the matchmaking in a second also as well, because they changed it around this year. But uh, I've only played on one map twice, like I said, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Anything uh, that I say can change. It can change in the future depending on... Uh, whether different people that I play against like the map or whatever, I could just I could completely change my opinion. But the way I have it in this gameplay, uh, the number one spot will be at the end, going to my least favorite to the mo to my most favorite. So uh, there in the beginning, you saw Rise, and before I get to Rise and uh, Gauntlet and all the other maps that come in this DLC, I want to talk about the matchmaking because they did change it up a bit this year. So instead of having a separate playlist, they now you can just go into whatever playlist you want, and if you have the DLC, you can just search for the game mode you want, and you'll have the DLC maps in there, which is cool. Problem is, is that you have to keep sifting through TDM lobbies, at least for me, like I just was playing TDM, just wanted to be casual here today, and I, I just keep having to sift through the TDM lobbies, trying to find the maps, sometimes they're the old maps, most of the time they're the new maps, so I'm not going to complain, but if I wanted to play a specific map, like, per se, I really wanted to play Splash at the end, because I Splash was the last one that I wanted to play, I kept getting skyjacked, so I had to keep backing out, backing in, I'd go into a lobby, oh, it's Hunted, great, now I don't want to play Hunted, that's an old map, get me out of here, so it's just like, I, I don't know, something's messed up with that, I really wish it, I would just have specific DLC maps, at least for day one, because people want to play these DLC maps, uh, you know, getting a week later, then you could integrate them, and, but, you know, you know it, it just is what it is, but anyways, now I'm going to talk about my map thoughts, so, uh, here you can see there's Skyjack, but I'm going to talk about Rise first, Rise is my least favorite, and why, I just don't like the, the scenery, a lot of the times maps these days have to do with the scenery and the way that it looks. Rise doesn't really look all that great. It's just a construction site with a bunch of tubes and barrels and yeah, there's an underwater route and you know, it, it is what it is, but I just don't like the layout, number one. It's really clustery. It feels like an advanced warfare map in my eyes from the first time that I played it. Like I said, I've only played these maps once. Uh, it feels like an advanced warfare map, and I am not a fan of the advanced warfare style of gameplay, so I quickly, I just didn't like it the first time. That's just my own opinion. The next map that we have here, as you can see on screen right now, is actually Skyjack, which is, of course, the remake of Hijack, which is actually going to be ending right now going into Gauntlet, so I'll try and finish this one up fast so I can catch up. Skyjack, I didn't really like Hijack to begin with, right? Uh, in Black Ops 2, I thought that it was too chaotic, that the spawns were completely terrible, uh, and so that was that. In this game, Skyjack plays nothing like Hijack in my own, from my own experience, because you have the, not only, of course, do you have that open bottom area where the boat is, but it's just, it doesn't feel like it, and the different weapons and the specialist, I just don't personally like it as much as Hijacked. I prefer Hijacked a little more, and that's just simply because I didn't really like Hijacked in Black Ops 2. I prefer uh, the Black Ops 1 maps. Uh, Hijack, it was a decent map. It wasn't like, oh god, this map is terrible. Uh, but in general, I prefer Bla the Black Ops 1, you know, the, those maps over, you know, Hijack was a very popular map, but uh, Black Ops 1 maps definitely, I think, had it over the Black Ops 2 maps. And we, but we got Skyjack back here. Personally, I would have liked to see a raid. Raid was was a great map. I don't know how that would have worked out, but it was what it was. Skyjacked is my number three spot on the list. So moving over to Gauntlet, I actually didn't know if I would like Gauntlet. I said, eh, it looks okay. It plays really well. There's different biomes. There's the snowy one, which I mostly stay in in this gameplay, but I decided to show off the greenery on the other side that you saw before. 
and this map really plays really well, to be honest with you. It's not my number one, which you probably know what my number one is right now, uh, just from judging from this if you know the maps, but uh, it is a very good map indeed, and I think it plays very well. So, uh, you know, I, I saw some from different people that it wasn't their favorite and they would prefer other maps, but I think that this ranks number two so far. Like I said, anything can change. This ranks number two. It could also be the people that I'm playing with as well. So now let's get over into the number one spot, which you should all know now. Uh, oh, wait, I forgot to talk about the other side of the map. Yeah, it's just some kind of like urban city. Nothing too important. The other snow maps and the gauntlet map. Uh, I mean, in the uh, by the tropical forest, that's m the majority of where you're going to be spending your time. Here, though, is Splash. Splash is my number one map, and why? This map is colorful. It's bright. It's fun. It's entertain. I mean, you're at a water park. How can it get more fun than this? Not just because of the theme. It's great. It's not just because I'm like, oh, because this is a water park. It's great. I'm saying this because this map plays really, really well, in my own opinion. This is the best map of the DLC, and I kind of had a hunch it would be. We got Skyjacked in there, and it's like, yeah, this is the remake of Hijack, but like I said, I wasn't really that big of a fan of Hijack from Black Ops 2, so I said, you know, this Skyjack could be great, but... Uh, this map definitely, in my own opinion, takes the cake. It just, look how colorful it is. Of course, I have color correction on like I always do, but just look how colorful this map is. Uh, it's, it's excellent. Oh, and by the way, right here, I'm just waiting out this guy because, yeah, he had Reaper on, and now they made it so you can hear Reaper's footsteps, which is excellent because in the previous build, uh, for some reason, it sounded like Reaper had Dead Silence on, which was a, apparently a game glitch, and, you know, people found that out. So I'm glad that you can hear Re people's uh, footsteps equally because Dead Silence, you kind of need it, um, Black Ops 3, and I run it all the time. And uh, here in this gameplay, the maybe it's just because I'm using the CUDA 2, why I like Splash, because in the other gameplays, I was using a Silence KN, not really the best for uh, Black Ops 3 because the Silencer kind of nerfs it a little bit, but... Uh, the CUDA is one of my favorite guns in Black Ops 3 as far as, you know, consistency goes because consistency is a great thing to have in Black Ops 3 and uh, me pulling out this CUDA, I think I was using, I think I used the Pharaoh on one of the maps, I don't even remember, oh yeah, it was the uh, Skyjack, so maybe that's why, I don't know, I pulled out, I needed to get some camo challenges for that gun, but I pulled out the CUDA here on this map and then I pick up a couple different weapons and, you know, overall, I just really enjoy this map. Now, one thing I would say about it, now thinking, going back and thinking about it, is, you know, the, there are slides on this map, and obviously there's water. There's a, actually a main water po point that I actually find out right here that I didn't even know existed in the map until I was like, oh, shit, that's cool. Like, it's right after here, like right here. I'm like, oh, wait a second, what the heck is this? Oh, and then we're going swimming in the water. I didn't even know that that was in the map because I don't even look up these map uh you know gameplays before so i'm like yeah let's take a little swim and uh but sp other things in uh, black ops 3 news speaking they came out with a huge patch update which like i said before they ner they uh nerfed uh, reaper's footsteps i guess they made them louder like i said but they also did a bunch of other stuff so i will leave a link in the description below if you wanted to check out those patch notes for i think it's patch uh, 1.05 so a very big patch for the ps4 of course i don't know when it's coming to the xbox one but one would assume either soon or before the, they get the DLC. So that, those are my thoughts on the Black Ops 3 Awakening DLC. Some actual gameplay, not some combine gameplay that I had yesterday. Uh, this is some actual DLC gameplay. And my honest thoughts about it. So leave your honest thoughts below. I hope you did enjoy the video. Leave a like, of course, if you did enjoy. And subscribe for more content, of course. And uh, I'll probably have some more Splash gameplays depending on when I get in. It took me a while to find this Splash uh, gameplay because for whatever reason, Splash wasn't coming up for me. But like I said, hopefully they can make a, a short playlist for maybe like a week or so just with the DLC play, uh, things. And you know what would even be better? Going on a little rant here. Not rant, uh, you know, verbiage going on, whatever, the, whatever you would call it. In Modern Warfare 3, for the DLCs, you had the option to disable the DLC when you didn't want to play it or enable it with the click of a button. Now, in the newer ones, I, I don't know, they just scrapped that idea. I think they should bring that back because that feature was amazing. That's one thing Infinity Ward did right. Just a little quick thing, right? A little quick note. That's what I meant to say, not rant. Just a note that I liked about Modern Warfare 3. It, just going back a little bit. But we end up picking up the la one of the last kills here, the match with this Tempest. I'm using it for some camo challenges. But uh, yeah, anyway, so I'm going on now. So I'll see you in whatever my next video happens to be. This is Ninja Geek. I'm out. And peace. Peace.